Imagine an infinite line. As far as we know, this line has no beginning, no end. There are an indefinite amount of points on this line, although this line does connect all the points. But there's no width, there's no depth, just length. The first dimension. Seems kind of a boring place. Yeah? Like, nothing could ever possibly exist there, right? But what if they did? What would that life be like? It would know forward, indefinitely. Backward, indefinitely. That's all it would know. It wouldn't even know that other dimensions existed. But what if it did see another dimension? Like the second dimension, for example? It would see a dot. That's it. A little pinpoint. If it was even that big. In the third dimension? Our dimension? A line. If you could even call it that. Everything that we know in a line. It simply wouldn't be able to perceive those two dimensions. It's a first dimensional being. So why am I talking about first dimensional beings? How do you think a third dimensional being would perceive the fifth dimension? Do you think we'd be able to perceive it? Not really. But see, we have these biocomputers, so we're at least able to imagine it. But when it came to seeing it with our terrible survival senses, perceiving it would be impossible. But we would know it was there. As a third dimensional being, we should be able to see first dimensional beings, because we can see the first dimension. Well, again, we have these terrible animalistic senses that were developed to survive. So probably not. We can't even see all spectrums of light that are available. For example, cats see stripes on us that we have no idea were there. So seeing a one-dimensional being would be impossible. There could be one existing on this line right here, but it would be in the line. We wouldn't be able to tell the difference. But when it comes to beings that are in higher dimensions than the third dimension, they might be able to perceive us. Actually, if they were a fourth dimensional being, they could probably see inside of us, which is kind of gross if you think about it. If they looked at us and they could just see the organs all floating around and stuff. But as far as the fifth dimension goes, the way that I described it is not exactly how string theory describes it. It's a little bit different and more complicated than that. But we're gonna get there, I promise. On a fun fact note, some physicists believe that two-dimensional beings could exist. And that's really interesting when you think about it. We are able to manipulate the second dimension, which means that we could be manipulating two-dimensional beings' world all the time and not even realize it. So I wonder how often that happens to us.